I was always so mad and heavily invested in football that I always wanted to do that sort of thing. So hockey was more uh, a help as such by uh, my best mate. His dad was coaching a team and they were missing a player. I ended up having to play that day and I just sort of fell in love with it and sort of football took its uh, a sidestep and I ended up just carrying on with, um, with hockey. I think it was for an under 18 camp and I think I came home from that thinking this is something I want to do and at that point it was more of a decision of do I want to try and continue this and see where how far it goes or do I want to try and balance both sort of thing and then yeah having a, a thought about that I thought this is the best way for me to go. Um, I reckon from about 17, 18 and I made a decision right let's, um, let's try and go down the hockey route. We had a bit of a downer obviously in, in Rio it didn't go as well as we'd wanted to. Um, that was a real low point, I think, for all of us. Sort of the expectation of potentially getting there to go and medal. And at that point, you sort of start to wonder, is it really worth it? Thankfully, I found a wee bit more of a drive and sort of want to try and get to Tokyo and sort of rewrite the wrongs that went from, from Rio sort of thing. But that was definitely the ultimate in those few months after, after the summer of 2016. It was sort of like, I'm not sure if I want to do this anymore. And those type of events only make you stronger, really. Uh, and I'm very happy and glad that I didn't do it. I think I would have probably regretted it for the rest of my life, knowing that I quit on something that, you know, ultimately was still there for me to, to go and achieve. So an even bigger bit was probably more on the amounts people have given up for me to be able to play at this level. And I sort of felt that I'd be doing them a bit of an injustice if I just stopped. Um, and so that's a big part of why I continue to play is for people back home and sort of aspiring young kids back in, back in my hometown. I think being someone who likes to push the sport to in potentially enhance participation. That's sort of the ultimate goal, I think, for me and for, for a lot of people as well, is to put our sport in the right, right limelight, um, you know, to show that we are good role models for these kids that are growing up sort of thing. And hopefully they look at us and think, yeah, I would like to be some, like someone like that. Seeing kids come to watch, I, I think seeing their faces whenever you sign autographs or get pictures, or that's probably the most satisfaction I, I get. To play at this level and to compete, you have to pretty much be on it. 24-7, 365 days a year and you don't get too many days off where you can't really not think about hockey or not think about what's around the corner. It's a constant reminder of yourself of how you want to be and how you want to be looked at and if you want to be able to perform at the top level it sort of it requires a bit of intelligence to what you do off the pitch is just probably not as important as you do on the pitch. So it is, It's a lot of hard work but it's good fun. You know, we're very lucky as I've said. Um, not many people get to do it so it's sort of living that opportunity to keep doing it.